Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Esper Super Friends. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. We are going to be jumping into an Esper Super Friends list today. Now, the original creator of the list was Sonio. However, I did make just a couple of minor changes, very minor. Uh, so, Sonio, thank you so much for sharing the initial list. What I did was just streamline the Planeswalker package, which we'll talk about in a minute. But the idea is basically we are going to try and control the game and then start to take over the game using Planeswalker abilities throughout the course of uh, hopefully a few turns and kind of gaining advantage each turn so uh, we'll talk about kind of the planeswalker package first I suppose so <clears throat> starting at the top we do have professor onyx here obviously one of the biggest payoff planeswalkers especially in black with that magecraft ability allowing yourself to draw some extra cards and of course dealing with uh, creatures on the opposing side of the field that's hugely hugely important for us you'll notice we've also got a couple of sweepers to help us in that arena definitely one of the best uh, we do also have Loth here again creating creatures is great for the deck because that's how we're hopefully going to take over but drawing cards is how we're going to stay in the game and so Loth does give us that ability we do also have Elspeth Resplendent now this is a bit of an interesting one because we don't really have a ton of like creatures to pull out with Elspeth however we do have a number of permanents in the deck that are worthwhile uh, albeit they're a little bit tricky to get to so most of the time we are probably going to be plus wanting Elspeth until we can get to that minus seven uh, which is certainly the goal of course uh, we do have two sore in the mirthless this is one of the planeswalkers i believe as well as did i pull another one in no oh yeah okay uh i did pull in an extra soren uh sonio had one soren in here along with a teferi as well as a nico i felt like uh when i was practicing the deck both teferi and nico were perfectly fine but not really like game altering in most scenarios uh, whereas Soren does basically everything we want it to do, and it's an efficient mid-game uh, Planeswalker because it is only four mana. Uh, so I did get throw an extra one of these in here just so we can create those lifelinking tokens, those flying tokens, both of which are very good. But also, of course, drawing cards is helpful as well. Uh, the Wandering Emperor, hopefully going to deal with some stuff on the opponent's side of the field and spit out tokens. Obviously, the tokens are a bit of a sub-theme of the deck. And then, of course, Kaito Shizuki, one of the best three-drop planeswalkers right now, uh, allowing us to draw some extra cards, spitting out that 1-1 unblockable, just doing everything we want for the deck. Uh, now, the other card I did substitute was March of Otherworldly Light. I did notice that enchantments were sometimes difficult to deal with, uh, and artifacts, basically, Basically, this hits everything. Uh, we do have Vanishing Burst to help us with that, and of course Negate, which will help us kind of preemptively deal with it, but I felt like having a march just as a single uh, Otherworldly Light march would be very helpful, and so I'm really excited to try that one out. Uh, he was very clever in creating the Hunt for the Specimens package because it does allow us to access the lessons in the sideboard. We can play Containment Breach off of the Celestis as well, which is great. Uh, and then most of the early turns are spent just dealing with stuff. So we've got Ray, March of Wretched Sorrow, Obscura Charm, basically a ton of different things that are going to help us uh, kind of keep the board clear for when we do get those Planeswalkers out. And then, of course, if things do get a little hairy, we've got the Doom Scar and the Farewell to kind of deal with all of it. So uh, other than that, I tried not to change too much because I do think Sonio did a great job with this list. We're going to try it out here today, guys. Hopefully have a blast with it. And hopefully you guys will learn something along the way. I think this is going to be a really fun one. I love a good Super Friends deck, so let's jump into it. Let's see what we can do. Let's have some fun. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one, a very Planeswalker forward hand. Uh, but we do have a Kaito Shizuki and, of course, the Wandering Emperor and the lands to play both. So we'll, we'll give this a shot. Uh, I'm not super optimistic, but... Uh, I would love to have just a piece of interaction, something in the early turns of the game to give us that edge. Uh, unfortunately, so far, we will not have that, but we can go ahead and throw this out. We really don't have to waste uh, the, the Seed of the Empire quite yet. We can kind of leave that for later in the game if we need to. Okay, uh, so thankfully, um, this actually whiffs <laughs> because we don't have a creature. <laughs> so in a, in a weird way, that's actually really helpful. Um, all right, let's go ahead and drop Kaito. I think we definitely want to get Kaito going here as quickly as we can. The fact that Kaito does uh, 
basically just phase out of the game the first turn you play him is ridiculous. It makes it very difficult to deal with, especially in the early turns of the game where you're trying to be proactive in other ways. Uh, it's just a great way to kind of stall things out a little bit for us and make it a little tricky for the opponent. Um, very curious to see what happens here. Fight rigging. Okay, excellent. So we actually are really going to be able to deal with this pretty well. Uh, my assumption, of course, being that they're going to use the Valky to attack in. We can obviously just Vanishing Verse the Fight Rigging, uh, which I think may end up being the play, but we can also just deal with the wa or, uh, the Valky with the Wandering Emperor, which is perfectly reasonable as well. Uh, obviously not going to block. All right, uh, let's do this first. We're definitely going to attack in. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see what we draw. Definitely want to take the opportunity to draw for free uh, anytime you can, especially in this style matchup. This is certainly an important one for us, and so allowing ourselves to do that is certainly the best option. Um, now, the question is, do we just deal with the fight rigging and leave the Vulky? I actually think we're going to go this route. I guess technically we should have waited. That was a bit of a mistake, but uh, we do open ourselves up here to a shakedown heavy play. Um, however, I don't think we can risk losing Kaito quite yet. I'd love to keep him around uh, as best we can because, of course, drawing extra cards is always good. So we'll see what happens. Yep, there's the Shakedown Heavy play again. We kind of expected this, and they are going to be able to play this Fight Rigging uh, Hideaway option. So, ooh, very good, too. Wow. Uh, thankfully, we do have an answer, um, but they do actually get to kill that, which is frustrating. Uh, but we certainly do have answers in hand for this, so not terribly worried about it. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy all creatures. Just get them all off of the field. Uh, we will plus up, submit zero, and let's go ahead and plus on Kaito as well. What do we want to discard here? Probably just the Wandering Emperor. All right. Uh, so at the very least, again, we're just kind of staving off all of the things that they can do while we're taking over with the Planeswalkers, and we're actually doing an okay job so far. Now, I'm very sure they're going to have some good plays coming up here, but at least that hideaway is kind of gone now, uh, and so I'm not as worried about that anymore. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. Um... Do, the question is, do we really care about the hideaway or the uh, the fight rigging at this point? And I don't think we do. The it, it's kind of done its thing at this point, so I'm not as worried about it. Let's go ahead and plus here, um, and we'll throw a lifelink counter on it. So again, we're just gonna try and plus until we can minus seven on the Elspeth. I think that's probably gonna be our best bet to victory, at least so far. Uh, we're saving up that Vanishing Verse because here, obviously a great option for us to just Verse and get out of there. Uh, and it's not really a problem. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go ahead and plus up. Throwing that counter here. Um, I'm going to give it Vigilance, actually. I think that's probably for the best. Uh, it is unblockable, so let's go ahead and attack in. Nice that we actually gain a little bit of life out of that. Let's uh, plus up Kaito so we can see what we draw. Another Kaito. Um, and I think the play is actually to wait and Vanishing Verse. Yeah, I think we wait. Uh, after they put that plus one on the Shakedown Heavy is when you should Vanishing Verse. We kind of messed that up with the Wandering Emperor early in the game. Uh, but we might be able to get away with it here. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Okay. So this is where we just go ahead and Vanishing Verse after they've targeted. So that's a wasted trigger. And now they don't get an attack, uh, which is great. Graveyard Trespasser is very good. It's a very annoying card to deal with. Um, but we are going to get to, if we'd like, minus seven here, uh, which is pretty good as it turns out. Uh, okay. So they got their basic land. That's good. And we just get a land. Okay. Um, I actually do think we're going to cash in. Uh, that's a pretty big swing in our favor. So I do kind of like that. Let's go ahead and uh, get that going. So we do need to discard a card to be able to deal with this. Thankfully, we have the Seed of the Empire to actually deal with it. So that's actually kind of nice. Um, 
We'll throw this out. Let's make sure we foretell this just so we've got that option later on. And I think we just pass here. Um, we'll see. Uh, I guess we can't technically see to the Empire this because they do have... Well, I guess we, we can manufacture a way to deal with it, but uh, it's certainly not going to be great. Okay, that's bad. That's very, very bad. So they are going to be able to deal with Kaito here. Uh, we do have a Doomscar, so that's helpful, but... Um, wow, Vorinclex as well. Very good on the opponent's end. What a play. Uh, that was a great turn for the opponent, for sure. Thankfully, again, we do have the Doomscar, so we have a way to deal with this, and it's relatively efficient because we were able to foretell it. So, uh, the hope is that we don't just lose out to these two, and if we can deal with them... Uh, they may just not have that much life. I mean, we'll see. Uh, thankfully, we've gained some life too, so we're actually in okay shape. Um, I think the play is pretty clear. We just go ahead and Doomscar. Uh, we will go ahead and Kaito. Uh, let's go ahead and play the land as well, and then we'll just do this. Alright. So, now we just have to hope they don't have a big spell. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that is certainly a big spell. Uh, the Crimson Bride is a terrible one. Um, not much we can do about that, sadly. Uh, and that might mean we just lose. This is a phenomenal deck against us, unfortunately. Uh, they're really just kicking our butt here with this. Um, so we might as well do this because we're gonna lose the uh, token to the Tox roll regardless. So we might as well go ahead and block just so we um, don't, you know, lose the, the damage at least. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Not what we want. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty dead, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I mean, hey, a, a Crimson Bride is definitely gonna be able to kill us here. Uh, there's... There's nothing we can really do about that. Uh, that was very, very good. If we had gotten a farewell or a sweeper of any kind, really, we would have at least had an option here. But unfortunately, we didn't. We had every chance to with the Kaito, so we tried. Uh, and I think we did the best we could. But I'm going to go ahead and concede here. They definitely just have us. All right, let's move on to game two. The brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing Proxy Pack, please visit patreon.com slash itresolves for details. Alright guys, here we are for game two. Let's hope for just a little better this time. Uh, I don't think we played badly last time actually. I think we did pretty well. I just think they had really good uh, cards obviously. Crimson Bride is one of those that you really have to be able to, to deal with on the spot and unfortunately we couldn't. We do have double Vanishing Verse this time, so opening up with a strong uh, interactive piece. So we'll see if this actually pans out in our favor. Uh, we can go ahead and drop this and just pass. Obviously we've got the Wandering Emperor and Sorin available next turn, which is quite good. Uh, the question is, what do we think they will have? I actually think we're just gonna pass and leave up the Wandering Emperor. Uh, what this means is if they wanna deal with it, they have to counter on their turn. Uh, and then that opens up the Soren play for the following turn. So I think that's probably going to be for the best. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and Wandering Emperor. Let's go ahead and create that 2-2. Fantastic. Wow, triple. <laughs> uh, interesting. Let's go ahead and play the Soren. Um, and I'm actually going to draw the card here. Uh, I believe. Do we want that is the trick. That's three damage. Oh, uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I do think we uh, we take that. Uh, as much as I don't necessarily want to, I think we kind of have to. What's nice is we do actually get to attack in here. This does have first strikes, so we do kind of even up the life totals, but this is definitely a scary prospect. Uh, the reason I drew, by the way, we do need to grab lands. Obviously, we're a little behind on that front, given we didn't get one this turn. So my thought being, let's go ahead, let's draw the top card of the deck, let's get further in, excuse me, and hopefully get a land at least on the next turn since we weren't able to this turn. Sure. Uh, that's very good. Um, and now they can just take out the Wandering Emperor, which is perfectly fine. Not great, but fine. Um, Doomscar. Unfortunately, not super helpful. Um, so the question becomes, once again, do we... 
I think we have to draw. We have to get a land. Uh, man. Not a land. Um, we'll draw it uh, as much as I don't want to. All right, so I think what we kind of have to do here is drop the Kaito, hoping they can't counter. And then minus two to get the one one, just so we can protect a little bit here. It also just progresses our board, so I mean, there is something to that. The Kaito also gives us a guaranteed draw next turn since it did uh, stick, and so there's a little bit of, you know, we're, we're just trying to dig further at this point. Um, I mean, one thing to note as well, that the, uh, the Soren is just really big uh, at this point. So this is going to double, so we definitely want to block here. Um, if we do draw a land, we can just Doom Scar. If it's an untapped land, if we can Doom Scar, we are in reasonable position. Oh my goodness, seriously. Um, all right, let's draw first. Holy crap, <laughs> this is terrible. Um, no, we don't want to get rid of Vanishing Verse, do we? Let's get rid of this. Give me a land, please. Oh my goodness. Where are our lands? <laughs> this is so bad. Um, I mean, yeah. I think we just have to do this. Uh, that really sucks. Now the question is, do we foretell this, expecting that we'll need it next turn, or do we just leave up the other Vanishing Verse? I actually think it's Vanishing Verse here, uh, as much as I wish it wasn't. <laughs> um, I think if they have another Calamity Bearer, uh, it's one of those things that we kind of need to be able to answer so they can't just kill Soren. Um, I don't know. This is this is bad. We also do have negate up, to be fair. So if they do have a, a random spell, yep, there we go. That's why we left it up. So let's hope they go for Soren. I'm going to let them attack first. Yes. All right, so that was perfect. So the reason I wanted them to go for Soren is because obviously they're not going to be able to kill it. Oh, well, they still can't kill it, so that's fine. All right, land, please. Land, please. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. We can't get a land. Uh, we literally just can't get a land. I'm going to drop the negate. Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh... Well, what do we do? I mean, we just aren't drawing lands. This is amazing. Um, I mean, truthfully, this is pretty phenomenally bad. Uh, there's not much we can do about it. I mean, we just have to Vanishing Verse. We could wait, I suppose, but... All right. <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, at least we were able to foretell that Doom Scar. That's semi-helpful so if they do play another uh either calamity bear or just any creature we could just go ahead and doom scar and two for one they are going to get a planeswalker here which isn't great um but you know it is what it is i can't believe we have not drawn a land yet that's phenomenally terrible obviously we're really good at this game i do think the land count's pretty good too like for this style deck you definitely want extra lands but i think we're pretty much there all right yep they've got all the lands available that they could possibly want they could just have another solid coming available uh which is obviously not good for us i can't believe this this is so bad <laughs> and we know what we're drawing this turn so I have to draw. <laughs> Literally have to. Holy crap. I mean, I don't even know at this point. This is insane. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Uh, and at least it landed. I mean, it's better than nothing. Oh, goodness. This is terrible. <laughs> Also guys, we may only get two games in, keeping in mind that this is a Super Friends kind of control era deck, and so this is pretty expected that these games are gonna go quite long. Uh, and unfortunately, I think this is just gonna be the case, but uh, I just wanna give you the heads up, we may only get two games in depending on how long this lasts. I'm very surprised we're even still in this game, to be brutally honest. Uh, I just, I wouldn't have expected that uh, at all.
but here we are. Uh, I'm fine with it. I just wouldn't have expected it. And it's a tap to land. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, deal with that again. Let's drop the land. I mean, I actually do think we have to, nah, let's just do this. They can potentially just kill it, but I think we just kind of have to get something on the board. Wow, this is so bad. Okay, so next turn we do have Elspeth or Loth. Uh, if they really go crazy with creatures, we also just have Doomscar. So on the plus side, we are well set up for most of the eventualities that they might have. Um, Still don't feel great about it. You know what I mean? Still don't feel great. <laughs> Another, oh, okay, battle, sure. Annoying, not the end of the world. Look, it's our land. <laughs> All right, uh, do we just, I, I mean, I think we do. It has to just be farewell just to reset everything, right? Just all three of these, I think. Just get everything out of there. All right, so we're resetting the game. I'm into it. Let's let's do more of that. <sighs> Unfortunately, they just have a lot of cards in hand. <laughs> they, they've drawn quite a bit. Holy crap! How many of these do they have? Goodness gracious! All right. I mean, the nice thing is this is a giant deck, and like the giant deck kind of is built itself like there's there's not a ton of different stuff they can be doing uh so that's semi-helpful i guess this allows us four mana which really isn't enough so i think we go this route um minus three and make them sack yeah i think that's probably just the right play all right here we go <laughs> uh when you do invasion. so they can kill lily if they'd like yeah Um, I mean, we knew that was a possibility, so that's not surprising at all. Okay. Uh, they get to play this. This is the greatest number of creatures you know if I can call it. Okay. Interesting. Uh, deals two damage to each opponent. Okay. Um... Ability triggers only if it's on the battlefield or if it's in your graveyard and you control the giant. So that's worth noting. Um, what's the best option here, I guess, is the question. So we can do this plus Lolf. Um, I think instead... What do I want to do here? Yeah, let's go ahead and Lolf. I kind of want to see if we I mean we kind of have to make a play where it's like okay we, we kind of need to um, get somewhere down the line here so unfortunately that does mean we have to play this so what this play opens up or the play that this opens up for us is next turn doomscar and Elspeth Elspeth resplendent uh, both of which are obviously great cards they might try and commit a little bit more to the board with that ravager so that's kind of the hope um, they obviously ping us for two with the, the Quake Bringer. Um, but they do get to cheapen up their, their giants this turn, or the next giants. So we're they're kind of incentivized to play a bit more into our Doomscar, which I'm sure they expect, like 100%. I feel like that's a definite expect expectation. Uh, and so they're not in an optimal situation, is the best way I can put this. It's not, excuse me, it's not terrible for them. Um, either way, because I'm sure they've got plenty of, of gas in hand, but it is something they have to consider. <sighs> Here's the <to> hoping. <laughs> I'm still surprised we're even in this game. Again, guys, we like were mana screwed for I don't know how many turns there. Four or five turns, I believe. That's a pretty long time to go without actually getting anywhere. <laughs> uh, and so I'm very happy to say we've at least gotten somewhere here. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Um, it's not great, but it's fine. Uh, because again, we can, we know we're going to lose the creatures. So, wow, they're really going crazy with this. Interesting. Okay. So they are going to take out the Loth. 
Uh, and they're gonna deal quite a bit of damage here. Can they just win? Does this just win? Yeah, totally does. Good game. That was great. Uh, I can't be mad at that. That was, that was a rough one. Um, unfortunately, I do think that's gonna be all we have time for today, so let's go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, so, uh, unfortunately, as for Super Friends, really didn't pan out there, but that second game, I think we could have had. If we had had a couple of extra lands and dealt with the things on the board a little bit more proactively, just been able to, I think we maybe could have gotten that win. Uh, I don't think Giants is a necessarily great matchup against Esper Super Friends. Uh, just in general, I would favor the Esper Super Friends, I think. I might be wrong there, I could very easily be incorrect, but in my opinion, I feel like we had the tools to deal with it, we just didn't have a way to play them. <laughs> uh, which is unfortunate, it, it happens, you can't be too upset by it, but it is a little frustrating, of course. So, unfortunately, no wins with Esper Super Friends, but we did only get two games. Still a very fun deck. I do encourage you to try out the Super Friends list. There's a lot of power behind it. I don't necessarily think it's tier one, of course, but it is actually pretty reasonable. It's able to deal with quite a bit of stuff, and it's just a fun list. If you like Planeswalkers, if you like Super Friends decks, I think there's a lot to it right now, and so I do encourage you to give it a shot, see what you can do with it, maybe tech it out a little bit more, see what you can come up with and send it my way. I would love to see what you guys have in mind, but I really enjoyed this one, guys. Despite getting no wins, I still had a blast. So thank you guys very much. I really do enjoy you watching or and appreciate you watching. I enjoy playing the deck, uh, but I hope you guys have a blast of a day. Hopefully everything goes well. I will see you guys tomorrow. Cannot wait. Thank you guys so much.